This how-to is going to document how to hopefully repair your Sage TV HD100 extender if you have the problem of the blinky light, which we think is due to leaky and bad caps. So, if your HD100 looks like this, where you have a blinking power light, blinks about every five seconds or so, just like this, then the problem is likely the leaky caps. So the rest of this how-to will demonstrate how to identify the bad caps and replace them. Okay, here's the HD100 with the cover removed. On the left-hand side, you'll notice the main circuit board, controlling video, etc. On the right-hand side, you see the power supply board, which has the suspect bad components. The bad components that we're talking about are three capacitors on the back left corner looking from the front. You can see the three of them in a row there right behind the heat sink. In this particular one, only the rightmost two look like they're bad. You can see that they're bulged and discolored. You'll see the still pictures later showing a, a better picture, better angle of those capacitors showing that they're bad. So those are the three we need to remove. To do that, we need to take out the power supply board. There's two connectors. One connector on the left, which is the power supply leads going to the main board. The white connector right there. The other connector is the main high voltage input, which is on the right front corner right there. Remove those two connectors remove four screws in each of the corners and the entire power supply board will come right out and we'll be able to remove the bad components and replace them. Follow the rest of the still pictures okay here's the finished repair and it appears that the unit's working again if you notice the LEDs Power lights now on solid. So it appears that it's going to work. Here's the finished board reassembled. Notice the new capacitors back in the corner. A little bit larger, but they do fit. And thanks to the tools, there's the bad caps, soldering iron, solder, or solder remover the nippy cutters and a couple screwdrivers the repair is complete so I'll follow along with the article on the exact steps and you too should have success repairing your HD100 for a total cost of $5